D sus4 with F sharp in the bass, or D sus4 slash F sharp, slash chord. You're going to play a D sus4 chord. To play a D sus4, you play a D major and add your pinky to the G note, the fourth in the key of D. Third fret on the high E string, right here. So you play your D, add the pinky, and that's a D sus4, D suspended 4. Okay? Your other fingers for that chord, for the D sus4, are first finger on the A note, second fret on the G string, second finger, F sharp note, second fret on the high E string, and third finger, on the D note, third fret on the B string, and then your pinky, third fret on the high E, D sus4. But we have to put now, there's your D sus4, we have to put an F sharp in the bass. Some people use their thumb. I'm fretting this note, which is the F sharp note, second fret on the low E string. So you get that and you mute the A string. And you get that, it's a little more meat in the chord. You can do it that way or you could do this. Because technically you don't have to leave your second finger down because you now have your pinky down, you could switch these two and play the D sus4 like this with your second finger now on that A note on the second fret and add your first finger to the bass note, to the F sharp which is the second fret on the low E string. Mute the A string. You're not going to play the A string. So it'll sound like this. Here's your fingering. D sus 4 over F sharp. See the F sharps in the bass. And there's a good shot of it right there. Okay? And the chord sounds like this. Low E string. Muted A string. Here's your other 4. Another look at that chord. Ooh, there's a good angle right there. That's a D sus4 with an F sharp in the bass.